So number four, going quickly, using wildcards with your search. Uh, this is one of my favorite shortcuts, using wildcards with your search. So let me show you how that works. How do you use wildcards with your search? So let's go to Excel. Okay, so let's assume I'm trying to do a reconciliation of something. I'm not too sure what the name of what I'm looking for is. So let, let's assume I have a store here. I know that the store starts with C, the name of the store starts with C, and then probably ends with, um, I'm not too sure, it starts with C, and then maybe it has O in it somewhere, and then there's K in it somewhere. So how do I find that? Let me show you a trick. So the way to do that is this. You come in here and say, okay, I want to find. Or did I go? I went to control F. I know it starts with C. Then I don't know how many letters it has, maybe two or three letters, and then it has a K. Okay, so what, what do we do? So what do you do is this. You basically say it starts with C. Then I put a star. A star basically means, okay, it starts with C. There are some letters in there, more than one or two letters. And then I put a K saying, okay, there's a K in there. So I have, it starts with C, and then there's a, definitely a K in the middle somewhere, and then there are other letters after it. So here I put C star, K star. Let me just check find, to see if we can find anything like that. So I clicked on find, it's found something. It found Orochuku. But again, it didn't start with C, so it's pretty smart. And I was even taking the C in the middle. C star K star. You check if or you can have C H U K. So that, that's something. It kind of has something there. So or seems to have something there. So when you put a star, star basically means okay, there are many characters. I know one of the characters, which is C. I don't know the other characters, which is star. Then I know there's a character K, and then there are some other characters. So if instead of your star, if you put your question mark, so what the star does is basically says, I'm looking for something. I don't know how many characters there are. Take, um, well, the star just takes the place of any number of characters. That's what the star does. Now, but if I put a question mark, so those are the two wildcards you can use really, the two main wildcards. If I put a question mark as my wildcard, what a question mark means is it takes the place of a single character. So if I say, look for C, question mark K star. What I'm saying here is the C, I don't know what letter is after C. Then there's K and there are several characters after K. Let's see if it finds anything. Okay, you see Excel says, nope, I can't find anything. It doesn't, I, I, I can't find anything. So that means there's nothing with C and a letter and K. So for example, I can see Abba North here. So let's just play with that. Let's say A question mark um, A. Obviously, that question mark is ABBA. And then let's say star. So what will it find? Let's check. So it's going to find quite a lot because A and question mark, so it finds ABBAJI. ABBAJI is A, a letter, A, and then many letters. A, B, A, and then many letters. So, so that's how you use wildcards. Really, really cool. So thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.